You're right. Hey YouTube, it's Matt here from Teleguided. Uh, quite sunny, but too cold to work outside, so I thought I'd give you a little shop tour today. All right, here we go. And here it is, the Teleguided RC shop. Quite a few, separating kind of my crawlers on the left and my bashers on the right. Over here, we're gonna have fabrication spot. So this is where most of my tools started and where I do most of my building. Uh, got TV flickering there, but usually I have the Scale Builders Guild on. This is one of my first projects. It is a RC four wheel drive blazer that I've stretched into a four door cab, an extra long box dually. Have custom TF2 frame here that's been lengthened to accommodate the extra length. It's pretty long. <laughs> All right, so over here, I guess we'll kind of go shelf by shelf. Got more tooling down here. Here we have a few of the projects on the go. This is the TF2 Merlin Crawler. I've got all the a and garage uh, upgrades and I'm looking to do a weekly build on this. Same with this here. Got a Land Rover. Um, it is the uh, Heritage Edition. Looking to build some kind of Icelandic overlanding big tire roof rack lights kind of build. And so we'll do a kind of weekly build on that as well. These are some of my rigs that I have. This here is a custom Defender D30 pickup truck. Um, it is a Team Raffi body, not the RC4 with drive on a TF2, uh, actually a Galande 2 chassis. Here, um, RC4 wheel drive D110 on the Galande 2. Above that, we got another Heritage Edition uh, Defender, got the FJ, my pull truck. Uh, I want to build that similar to the RC four wheel drive giveaway they had done. Working our way into a little bit more custom. So this is a lifted on 2.2 TF2 Blazer with a two speed uh, transmission and two speed transfer case. I really like that. It's a pretty cool build. Working to our mud truck. So Tamiya F250 on a fully metal custom built la ladder tube chassis uh, with uh, even hydraulic steering. So we'll have to show that in another video. Uh, back to a few just stock RC four wheel drive vehicles. That's the new ARTR extra cab that I did a little review on. Next to more of the Back to the Future version. Get a little bit higher, we got a semi there that's missing the cab that I'm working on. Uh, trailer, a couple Tamiyas. Uh, MST drift car up on that one. Uh, even further, we got Cross RC, UMG 10, another TRX 4, a little jet boat up there. One of the coolest, biggest things I have here is a plane hanging from the ceiling here. It's the uh, Draco 2 meter. And moving on, this I found it's a Jet Rider old pow gas powered helicopter. Uh, maybe in the future I'll retrofit to electric and actually try flying it. Now over to kind of the basher shelf, we'll start at the top. I got a Ford Fiesta that's way up high. I uh, did some GPM upgrades and made some little drift videos on track. I spent a whole winter using that, that was pretty cool. Uh, I've got the X-Max, I had to get one because everyone has one. I've become more of a scale driver, um, so put it up top. Uh, Blackjack 42 boat, which is really cool hidden. Uh, the UDR, which started it all for me. Uh, one of my favorites still, I think I have three of them. Um, working our way over the Super Baja Ray 2. Really cool truck, 
just doesn't drive the same as the UDR, uh, more of a basher. I kind of like the scale of UDR. Uh, custom Bronco, it's getting a little rough, I use it quite a bit. One of my first TRX4s here, the Defender with full brass upgrade. Uh, weighing in at 13 pounds. <laughs> um, don't know why it was cool to add weight, but it was. Uh, low CLMT, one of the coolest monster trucks. Traxxas TRX4, a Rift that I use quite a bit. So I bought the kit and I've been working on that. It still has to be painted and add electronics. Sen Racing F450, that's the newer edition one with the aluminum shocks. Pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorite builds, the Vanquish Phoenix VS410 uh, Portal. Um, really like that. Still not done. Still just interior stuff and the exterior trims to do. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Found this used on Marketplace yeah, RC4 wheel drive uh, excavator. Over here we have a MST RMX 2.0 drift car. I had made a drift truck that was pretty cool. Uh, one of the drift trucks, haven't had a chance to use that one yet. Just picked it up, but winter here is prohibiting us from doing any kind of drag stuff. This is one of my favorite cars of, of the year. Uh, it's the Arma Typhon TLR Tune Roller Chassis. I put a Castle Mamba and uh, brushless censored motor in there, on, running it on 6S and it's wicked. Moving over to just a little bang good special. Uh, dumpster bin I had built after I saw part of my noobs. I had to give it a try. Uh, I did make it as scale as I could and put our uh, construction company name on there. It's sitting on a dually trailer from RC Four Wheel Drive. First killer body LC70 I built on a TRX4. Couple Tamiya high lifts on some custom chassis. That's a semi chassis. That one's on TF2. Working our way down to the bigger one, so SCX6. I built a custom snow plow, which I made a little video about. Uh, all out of metal, welded that. That was the first time kind of welding. That was pretty sharp. Over to a UDR I'm rebuilding. Uh, kind of a custom on the go thing that I don't know what I will ever be doing with it, but we'll see. Uh, a couple of boxes of stuff down there. And so, yeah. Before I did the RC, yeah, I was kind of selling bike parts online, so just a little bit of the uh, bike shop slash RC shop. Hopefully, one day. This will all be RC and uh, shelves along the whole top and put the bike stuff in a garage that hopefully need to build. Again, just a little tour of all the tools. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully bring you more content. Uh, it's winter here, so I believe that it'll mostly be built and maybe a little bit of driving, hopefully a bit of plowing. That's what my whole channel's been up to this day. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like it and hit the like button. Thank you.